How are you? Good. Everyone's okay? Good. Does anybody know what we celebrate today in the church? Well, Lent is part of it. Good. Whoever said that for here and over here, good. One of the things that we're still celebrating is Lent. And Lent is the period before what holiday or what big feast day? Easter. What's another word for Easter that we use? Pascha. In fact, it's probably better that we use the word Pascha. Because Easter is a word that is named after something that is a Christian. We'll talk about that another time. But Pascha is probably the better word. Okay? So Pascha is what we celebrate. We're in Lent. We are preparing for Pascha. Today is a day in which we celebrate something in between. We're right in the middle of Lent. Anybody know what we celebrate today? What's this? What is it? It's a cross. So we celebrate, and we celebrate, we venerate, which means we honor and we love and we respect the cross. Which cross do you think we're talking about that we are venerating? One Jesus died on. The cross upon which Jesus died. Do you know that at the very beginning of Christianity, in the very beginning, it was you were not allowed to do your cross and you were not allowed to have the symbol of cross of the cross as a Christian. In the very beginning. Why? Why do you think you were not allowed to do your cross or have a cross in the very beginning? Good. Because that's where our Savior died on this horrible thing called the cross. It was actually a way to kill people. It was a way to torture them first and then to kill people with the cross. And the earliest Christian said that we should not do and have the symbol of the cross. Until, very quickly, they realized that the cross was very important for our salvation. The cross was extremely important for our salvation. And they said, from now on, it is going to become the symbol of Christianity. What is on the top, very top of our dome here at the church? Outside, a cross. What do you receive when you are baptized? What do you wear around your neck? What do you wear around your neck? What is it you're wearing? A cross. Some of you have the cross on. What is it that we do 9,000 times when we come to liturgy? What do you do? The sign of the cross. Now, it is extremely important that we learn how to do our cross. Why? Why do you think it's important that we do our cross properly? To get closer to God, okay? To, to, for God to know that you believe in Him and for you to know that you believe in Him. So if, if you are a Christian, you should probably know how to do your cross. Yeah, what else? Okay, good. So if you're not doing it right, you're probably not praying very well, are you? What's the best way you think that you should do your cross? How do, let me show you some of the ways that Papu and Yaya sometimes do their cross. And they're going to laugh because they know it's true. Sometimes they do their cross like this. <laughs> How many of you play the guitar? Okay? Sometimes you see this. I'm not making fun of them because they may be praying, but there's a better way to do it. Sometimes they do it like this. Not a bad thing. They're doing their cross. The most important thing that when you do your cross is that you are at peace. That you're doing it peacefully. Not in a rush. Not to do it because they got going to teach you if you don't do it. We used to get that. How many of you guys got pinched if you didn't do your cross properly? How many of you guys got pinched if you didn't do your cross properly? You did it. It's a different generation. But we usually get pinched if we do it, didn't do it properly, or we get the, the look from Bapu or whatever. Okay? So, do your cross with three fingers. Why three fingers? Good. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And we go where first? To our forehead. Then where? Which, with, with, with what, what hand do we use? The right or left hand? Right hand. Why the right hand? Does anybody know? 
Okay, what happens at the right hand of God? Who's going to go to the right hand of God? Jesus Christ and who else? Us who? Children for sure, because you guys are better than us. Who else? All of the good people, all of the followers of Jesus, all of those who are going to go to heaven are going to go to the right, to the right hand of God. And in the Bible, the biggest reason why we use the right hand and why we even go to the right hand first is because in the Bible, the right hand of God is the one that is powerful. Whenever God does something powerful in the Bible, you hear that it is his right hand that does it. And that's why we use the right hand. And that's why we start from our forehead to our tummy to our right shoulder. So you guys, it's the right shoulder. Okay? And then we go to the left shoulder. So we do that because we believe in, uh, in Jesus Christ. We believe in God. And we believe in the power of the cross. So when you guys get up in the morning, what do you do? What does your mother tell you to do? Or what do you do? when you get up before you go to school. Give me something. Wash your face. That's exactly what I was looking for. You wash your face. One of the things that we do with the cross is that we wash ourselves from things that are bad. One of the things that we do is that we, we cover ourselves with the power of the cross. One of the things that we do is that we say thank you for the things that we have. And one of the things that we do as we say, please, Lord, as I'm talking to you, Lord, I know that I believe in you, O Lord. We cross ourselves with saying, please, Lord, and we pray to God. There's lots of reasons why we can do our cross. But those are just some. Is there ever a time when you should not do your cross? Is there ever a time that you're... You probably should not do your cross and you, you look around to see who else is doing your cross. I know we do that out there. We look around to see when someone else is doing their cross. Is there a time when you should not do your cross? No. Anytime you feel like you want to say thank you, please, or just cover yourself with the power of God, do your cross. So remember that this is a day that is very special. A day in which we remember God remember his sacrifice for us on this horrible thing known as the cross, but has become the greatest weapon of God. It is the greatest weapon of God. For with that, he defeated death. He defeated the power of the devil. And so we have it as our weapon. That's why you wear it around you, and that's why we do it. So remember it, respect it. Today we respect it, and we venerate it, and we respect it always as Christians uh, the Holy Cross of Christ. Amen. Okay, two lines.